He was 23, she was 21 Left the jobs for a parsonage with a 13-month-old son So he could preach and say God took my sins away and he can do the same today For all who will believe Their hearts were full of faith, their pockets full of change Their home was full of joy with a baby on the way Their church are full of saints who love to sing and pray And how we love to hear them say You preached to me You preached to me Children soon grew up and they went to Sunday school And they learned how to pray and they learned the golden rule They made their parents proud when they would sing out loud Songs about the love of God and how they loved Him too Oh, He lived for the moments like these Compared to the morning is sunset to him. Dad, today you preached to me. You preached to me. As a seven he would boast Until the morning That his wife was diagnosed Six months old the doctor said Four months later she was dead The question wouldn't leave his head Where are you God? Things went from bad to worse On a Sunday afternoon he saw it in his son when he walked into the room Dad, for years I've heard you say Trust in God, you'll be okay I know he took your sins away But he took away my mom For bedroom house and all alone His daughter calls him on the phone How's it going? I don't know is all that he can say He tries to pray, he tries to cry But there's no tears left in his eyes His faith is feeling just as dry But the same as yesterday Church attendance stays the same He thinks about it every day He feels just like a castaway Staring at the sea One prayer left and so he prays You know this is my darkest day So send somebody down my way Cause I need someone to preach to me At first that Sunday seemed just like the one before Until the moment that his son walked through the door The final prayer, the final hymn The people left, the lights were dimmed And then his son walked up to him Things haven't been the same since the day mom passed away I found it hard to trust and I found it hard to pray but dad don't give up on me or god of faith or destiny or dreams you had at 23 because you still preach to me oh the tears roll down both of his cheeks oh he searched for the right words smile then he started to Today you preached to me You preached to me I was needing some good news You see Oh And you preached to me You preached to me 
you preached to me. Oh, that was a whole story. Phil and Marissa, come on over here for a minute, yeah. Phil. So wonderful to have you Thanks, here today. Thanks, wonderful to be here. And I heard you sing about a happy home with a baby on the way <laughs> in that song. Yeah. And that's one of the first things we want to say, Marissa. Yeah. Baby <coughs> number three? Number three, yeah. How old are the other two? Almost four and about one and a half. Oh, so. you're going to be so busy. Yeah. <laughs> and this baby's coming when? September. Lovely. Yeah. Wonderful. How long have you been at... Portico. We've been at Portico almost four years. Uh, this coming fall, about four years ago, we moved there from Pennsylvania, and it's been just an amazing experience. Now Incredible you're a New church. Brunswick boy. Let's be careful born here. In, born in New Brunswick, and uh, yeah, born and raised in the Maritimes. Lived in Halifax for a long time as well. Marissa, where are you from? I'm from just around here. I grew mm. up just up the street, and uh, so this GTA area is home for me. Well, this is a bittersweet moment because we are meeting and sending <laughs> this lovely couple. You've got Georgia on your mind. Georgia, Phil. yes. That's right. What's that about? Well, we'll be heading to um, South Atlanta in July to, uh, to pastor a church, uh, music pastors of a church in, uh, it's just a little town south of Atlanta called Sharpsburg Trinity Fellowship Church down there. So we're honored to be going there and sad to be leaving here. Wow, well, we're feeling it with you because Thank we're you. just, Really, some of us who aren't part of Portico yeah. are, are hearing what you do, and it's beautiful. Uh, this project's been out for almost a year, That's come correct. May? Yeah, mm -hmm. since uh, last June, I believe it was, we released it. Well, I'm sure everyone who loves music would love to do this. Uh, what was your spark, your motivation behind the CD? Well, we had, uh, you know, I went through a, a writing period, and my wife and I lead lead worship primarily, uh, but I started writing songs and, and they weren't worship songs, they are more uh, like the past one you just mentioned, stories and uh, Ballad just, songs. Yeah, yeah, songs of encouragement and um, so, uh, you know what, I spoke with a, a friend of mine um, and he suggested I work with a, a producer by the name of Nate Saban and uh, we ended up giving him a call and things got set in motion, it just seemed like kind of where God was directing our steps at the time. 